Good morning. Good morning. Christopher Nova Smith with the Occupy Honolulu. Um, I'm not going to repeat it. Both the individuals basically said everything that's needed to be said. One question that I do have is historically we've been seeing some of these bills that come out, and it is indeed criminalizing the homeless. Today we're faced with a challenge of a state representative that's now running around with a sledgehammer in his hand attacking the homeless. Stanley Chain, I would like to know from you, what are you doing about this situation? Because that would tell me and the public how you guys view the homeless right now. Mr. Smith, the um, the bill before us is Bill 59 and the proposed CD1. Oh, I, I, I understand that. But see, I know there's people out there that's watching this. You can cut my mic. You can do whatever. But the people out there need to know how you guys actually feel about the homeless when drafting these bills. Stanley Chain is a representative of that district that the state representative for the Waikiki is running around with the sledgehammer. And I would like to know, is he addressing that situation and how is it being addressed? Because if he's not and he's ignoring it and he's letting it happen, you guys are basically trying to say that it's more important to address people that's sleeping than it is to address a situation where representatives are attacking people with sledgehammers. What is a more violent crime here? What is more of a crime period? Because everyone sleeps, correct? So when someone runs around with a sledgehammer and we ignore it, I know you're upset and you want me gone. I still want an answer from Stanley Chain. Are you addressing the situation? Are you concerned about your public? Mr. Smith, we're focusing on Bill 59. You've told us how you feel. We okay. appreciate your comments. Um, you know, the the topic that we have before us is looking for a way to clear sidewalks in a humane way and to provide alternative locations for people to sleep and to gain access to programs. I agree. We That's are also looking topic. for ways to help businesses be able to operate safely and effectively. And so, can I as propose something then? Certainly. You have. Why don't you actually finish off and start housing first? Instead of just 100 people with $5 million that we've been told about, we take a look and say we already have these services that pay for most of these things that's been added into the $5 million. It doesn't cost $5 million for 100 people to have a roof over the head. So why don't we take this money and actually spend it for housing, get them off the street, we don't have the problem, right? But instead, you're concentrating on their sleeping. And the people know it. I mean, because right now you have you, your news channels, your networks, everybody's getting upset, just like you are. And they're seeing this. Thank you. Thank you.